Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Rise and Shine Yoga. I'm Paul, and this is Stephanie. Good morning. From Oxford Yoga Studio in downtown Oxford. And as we begin our yoga practice, I want you to get into a comfortable seat at the top of your mat. You can have your legs crossed or legs extended. You can have your hands on your knees or in your lap. And just take a few breaths, start to settle the mind as we get ready for our practice this morning. Maybe close the eyes. Try to just check in with your body, see how you're feeling this morning. And like we always do, let us set an intention for our practice. This intention is a dedication. It can be for yourself, it can be for a family member, for a friend, for whoever. So make that intention now. And as we continue with our practice this morning, if at any time you find that your body's not cooperating in the poses, or your mind wanders, or it's just not your day, come back to this intention. Come back to the reason that you're practicing yoga this morning. And now let us deepen our breath. Let us develop that yoga breath, that ujjayi breath. Deep inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. And as we exhale, we want to have in the back of our throat like we're fogging a mirror. So kind of like a ha sound. So let's take a couple of those. Deep inhale. And exhale. Deep inhale. deep exhale and this breath along with our along with our intention if your breath becomes shallow throughout the practice or labored come back to the breath your breath should be strong and controlled and now with our breath and intention let's start to warm up the body so this first warm-up I want you to take your hands out in front of you interlace the fingers and we're just going to do a little bit of a wrist rotation whether this be your first yoga practice or you've done this many times, you will realize that we use our wrists a lot during a yoga practice. So this is just kind of a way to get the fluids in our wrists loosened up. Just gentle. Now rotate the other way. Just opening up the wrists. Got a few more times. Now release your hands. And I want you to take your hands out in front of you and have your fingers spread really wide. And now we're going to make a fist. And now we're going to extend the fingers. And again, we're opening up the hand, loosening up the fingers, taking care of our hand and wrists. And in these kind of poses, I think it's a good time to just Make sure your breath is under control, it's smooth and controlled. Take that a couple more times. Now shake out your hands, just shake them out a little bit. And now still seated, I want you to inhale your arms overhead and interlace your fingers. I'm just going to do a little side bend. So take an inhale and exhale to the right, keeping your tush or your bottom firmly on the mat. This is stretching our obliques on each side. Maybe your gaze is up toward the, the ceiling or the sky. Again, controlled breath. Now inhale back to center. And we're going to do it on the other side. Let's so lean over to the left, seated side bend. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale back to center, and exhale to the left. Again, we're opening up the sides of our body. Now 
Now come back to center and let's roll forward into tabletop the front of our mat. Knees underneath the hips, hands underneath the shoulders, fingers spread really wide. We're just going to do a few cat cows warming up the spine. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the head. And exhale, round the back, keeping your arms straight. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the head. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the head. And exhale, round the back. Now come back to a flat back. And this time, I want you to inhale your right arm up to the sky. Then exhale and slide it underneath your left arm, twisting to the left. This is called thread the needle. Your face could touch the floor, it may not. If you want a little more, you can take your left hand and place it on the small of your back, but you don't have to. And again, make sure you're breathing. Now slowly unwind, right arm up, and then place your right hand down, do the other side, lift the left arm up, slide it underneath, twisting to the left, maybe you put your right hand on your back, maybe not. Now slowly unwind, bring your left arm up and place it down. Come back to child's pose. The pose of comfort that you can come to at any time if you are struggling. Slowly come back up. Hands in between your hands. Come to a standing position, palms together, center of the heart. Take a break, and we will see you in the next step segment for our standing poses. Welcome back to Rise and Shine Yoga and let us start our standing sequence. So check your foundation, your feet about hip distance apart, 
your core engaged, your shoulder blades back. And a quick way to get your shoulder blades back, shrug them up, back and down. Palms together at the center of the heart. And we're just going to do three sun salutation A's. So inhale, reach and rise your arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look up halfway. Either your hands are to the floor or to your shin. Exhale, bend the knees. Step back to the top of a push-up. Hold it here for a quick second. Make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders. Strong core. Exhale, slowly lower all the way down, keeping your elbows in. Inhale, straighten the arms. Lift the chest. Up dog. Exhale, uncurl the toes. Lift the hips. Down dog. And since this may be your first down dog of the morning, maybe bicycle your feet. Maybe lift your hips on your tippy toes. And another good way to check your alignment in down dog is to shift into plank, keeping your hands and feet where they are. And then shifting back. And if you didn't have to make any kind of adjustments, then that's a good cue that you're in good alignment. Your gaze in down dog should be between your legs. You want to lift your hips, press your heels to the ground. If they don't come all the way to the ground, don't worry about it. And breathe. Hands firmly into the mat. The end of your next exhale, look between your hands, bend the knees, walk your feet to the front of the mat. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach and rise your arms overhead. Exhale, palms together at the center of the heart. Two more. Inhale, reach and rise your arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, bend the knees, step back to the top of a push-up. Slowly lower down, keeping the elbows in. Inhale, straighten the arms, lift the chest. Up dog. Exhale, uncurl the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. And again, we're going to stay here for five breaths. At the end of your next exhale, look between your hands, bend the knees, walk, step to the front of the mat. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach and rise your arms overhead. Exhale, palms together, center of the heart, Samus TT. One more. Inhale, reach and rise. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, bend the knees, step back the top of a push-up, lower down. Inhale, straighten the arms, lift the chest, up dog. Exhale, uncurl the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. At the end of your next exhale, bend the knees, look between your hands, walk your feet to the front of the mat. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach and rise your arms overhead. Exhale, palms together, center of the heart, Samas TT. Take a quick breath. Check your foundation. We're going to continue with Padagustasana or big toe bind. So I want you to inhale your arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Now I want you to take your peace fingers and wrap them around your big toe. 
Inhale, come up halfway, and then exhale, pull yourself in. You can have your knees bent. You can have your legs straight. If you want a little more, you're going to pull your elbows out to the side. Let your head relax and breathe. Release your bind, bend your knees. Now I want you to lift up your feet and slide your hands underneath your feet so the, big, so the toes come to your wrist. You want to massage your wrists. So inhale, look up, and exhale, fold in. Again, you can have bent knees. Eventually you'll have do this over straight legs. Let your head relax. And if you want a little bit more, pull your elbows out to the side. Now release your hands from underneath your toes. Now still keeping the knees bent, I want you to let your arms dangle. And if you can, grab opposing elbows, putting a big bend in your knees, and just letting yourself dangle here. I find that this is a great stretch for the lower back. But we still have our strong breath. Now's a good time to come back to the breath and to your intention. Now very slowly unravel and start to make your way up to standing. Reach and rise your arms. Exhale, palms together, center of the heart. Take a quick breath, maybe get a drink, and we will see you in our final segment. Underneath everything we are, we are all people. And when we reach out a hand to one, we can influence the condition of all. That's what it means to live united. Welcome back for our final segment of Rise and Shine Yoga. We're going to do one standing pose and then make our way into our seated poses. 
So check your foundation. Your feet are about hip distance apart. We're going to inhale, reach and rise the arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, bend the knees, step back to the top of a push-up. Slowly lower down. Inhale, straighten the arms. Lift the chest, up dog. Exhale, uncurl the toes. Lift the hips, down dog. And look between the hands, bend the knees, walk your feet to the front of the mat. And now, from here, I want you to take your feet and put them about the width of your mat. We're just going to do a squat. And then come down into a squat. Have your palms together at the center of the heart, if this is available to you. If this is too uncomfortable, just come back down to a seated position. If this is good for you, try to sit up tall. And we're going to do a little bit of an interesting thing with the squat. If you have your hands at your prayer, try to push your elbows to your inner thighs for more of a stretch so that you have like one line right across. You should feel it on the inside of your right and left leg. And breathe, of course. And smile, if that's available to you, which it should be every morning we do yoga. One more breath. And let's make our way onto our butts into a seated position. We're going to straighten out our legs. We're going to have our toes pulled back. We're going to sit up tall. Our chin will be level, hands by our side. We're going to do Dandasana, or staff pose. And we're going to stay here for about five breaths. Now inhale your arms overhead, and exhale, fold forward. Take your peace fingers, wrap them around your big toe. If that's not available, bring your hands to your shins. Inhale, come up halfway, and exhale, fold forward. This is Western Stretch, or Paschimottasana. You don't want to round your back. You do not want to round your back in this pose. You want a flat back. And if you want a little bit more, just pull your elbows out to the side. Now release your bind and come back up. And we're going to do, like we did last week, something called a vinyasa. It's optional, but I just want to show you what it is. So from here, I want you to lean back, cross your ankles, and then roll forward into table, and then step back to the top of a push-up, and then lower down. Then inhale, straighten the arms, lift the chest, up dog. Exhale, uncurl the toes, lift the hips, down dog. A look between the hands, bend the knees, walk, step to the front of the mat, and come back down to seated. So again, in most seated poses that you'll see me do, you have the option of taking that vinyasa after every one. So, so again, sitting up tall, we're going to do Paschimottasana B. So inhale, reach and rise your arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward. And this time, if it's available, take your hands, wrap them around the back of your foot, and take your thumbs and touch the knuckle of the big toe. Again, if this is available. If not, bring your hands to the shin or take the bind with the big toe. Again, flat back, legs engaged. If you want a little bit more, pull your elbows out to the side.
release your bind, come back up. And again, you have the option of the vinyasa. I'm not take, we're going to do that option tonight, right now. So cross your ankles, lean back, exhale, roll forward, step back, top of a push-up, and exhale, slowly lower down. Inhale, straighten the arms, lift the chest, up dog. Exhale, uncurl the toes, lift the hips, down dog. Look between the hands, bend the knees, walk, step to the front of the mat, and then make your way into a seated position. And now we're going to do what's called Purvottanasana, or it's a reverse table or reverse plank. So let me just show you the two options. Reverse table, you plant the soles of your feet on the ground, bend your knees, your hands are behind your hips about six inches, and then you just lift up like this. This is a reverse table. Or the other option is reverse plank. You extend your legs out in front of you. You have your hands behind your hips. And you inhale, lift up. So either reverse table or reverse plank is totally up to you. I'm going to do reverse plank, and we're going to hold it for a five breaths. And inhale. Lower all the way down. And take the optional vinyasa. Cross your ankles. Roll forward. Step back to the top of a push-up. Lower down. Inhale, straighten the arms. Lift the chest up, dog. Exhale. Uncurl the toes, lift the hips. Look between the hands, bend the knees. Walk, step to the front of the mat. Make your way to a seated position. Get comfortable, cross your legs, hands on your palms, close your eyes, settle the mind, let go of the breath, come back to your intention. You've worked really, really hard this morning. Hopefully you feel better than when you started. This is Paul and Stephanie from Rise and Shine Yoga, Oxford Yoga Studio. Thank you for practicing with us, and we will see you again next week. Namaste. Namaste. You're watching OCTV, Oxford Community Television, serving Oxford, Addison Township, and the village of Leonard.